What's up, Gear Mortals? Trey Xavier here. On today's edition of Gear Gods Quality Control, we are in a special place with a special person. We're at 42 Gear Street, and this is RJ Ronquilio. I hope I said it right. Yes, you did perfectly. <laughs> the first yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah, I asked him beforehand, so I didn't <laughs> blow it. Um, thanks for hanging out, dude. Thank you. And uh, we've also got some special guitars. These are Mayonnaise Aquila guitars. They are brand new. They don't even exist yet. You yeah. haven't heard of them before. Um, they're obviously super Strat-esque, more of a classic style than we're used to from Mayonnaise. Um, and we get to try them out here today. Uh, I've like kind of been playing them a little bit over the past couple days while we're here at uh, at Henning's glorious. Uh, what do we call this? It's a compound. Yeah, I think it compound. really is a compound. Yeah. Are you having a good time? Oh yeah, I'm having the greatest time. I don't want it to end. Me either. Um, unfortunately, it will today is the last day. So we're gonna squeeze the last little bit of juice from the fruit. All right, right now we're going through the Friedman small box. With a dad amount of gain. Yes. Just, Proper just enough gain from my gain. dad. <laughs> um, you can really hear those, uh, those New Balance. Where's the feeling? <laughs> That's why that's why RJ is here for the feeling. Why don't you uh, just give us some of sure. the feeling? So in this guitar, um, we both have Lawler pickups in our guitars, but they differ a little bit. We both have Lawler Imperials as the humbucker. Uh, my single coils are the Lawler Blackface, and I believe yours are, are Lawler Tweed, so it's a little Tweed. bit uh, different voicing. But I'll just run through kind of what this one sounds like. <laughs> combinations right there. Most of the time, most of my guitars are dual humbucker mm -hmm. type of guitars. Um, and that's great for what I usually do. But actually when it comes to Strat style guitars, I like having three single coils just because I like having a lot of, um, if I'm gonna get a, have a single coil guitar, I want it to be all single coils. Yeah. Um, I want to be Ingve. Yeah, me but too. <laughs> the one thing that RJ missed is that they can all be single coils because there's a Coil tap. But um, so that'll give you even more combinations. With, I wasn't just bragging, showing off that no, I found yeah. that I found the single coil Check tap. But you've got so we've got the five five. Let's see. So we've got. Um, five regular uh, combinations, and then when you coil tap it, that gives you two more. Yeah. Because it'll be... You're splitting the humbucker. Yeah, you'll split the humbucker, and then you get that as a single coil. And the... And the in-between this one and this one, but this one's single coil. I usually don't like split humbuckers, but... For some reason, this one I really like. It just. It just. It fits. You know, sometimes you'll get a, a humbucker uh, single coil combination that doesn't work well, but these yeah. work really well together and perfect for splitting. Cool. And we've got a, a nice uh, tremolo system. Doesn't. Kind of like a vintage style tremolo, but it feels less. It feels better. It feels better. You can pull <laughs> up on it. It's recessed so that you can, 
it's not uh, usually if it's flat down, it's against the body of a of a strat and you can't pull up. But this one you can. Yeah. It's a, oh yeah, I never noticed that. So it looks flat, but there's actually space underneath it. Yeah. So, so it doesn't look any different it. from the front, but it's it's properly floating. <laughs> Oh, come on. Give me something, Big Daddy! Let's see if I threw the whole thing. Oh, hey, not bad. I, I, I was giving it hell. You saw it. <laughs> Your rear looks uh, more interesting Thanks. than mine. <laughs> so, uh, well, let's go over, the, on that note, let's go over the wood yeah. that we've got on these. Of course, uh, Mayonnaise is a custom shop. Um, if you buy one of these, you can get presumably whatever wood you want. They make some beautiful stuff. I there's a couple back here. Oh yeah, you can well, see the can tops we, uh, on, the, on the backs of those. But. Yeah, we got that legend that I have been lusting after this whole trip, and a Duvel, um, super customized Duvel. Those are two of my favorite models right there. So on this one, we've got a fucking banging maple top, uh, regular old flame maple. I say regular old. This is my favorite kind of maple. I like a quilt, but flame maple is where it's at for me. I've coined um, a term. <laughs> Um, called boner flame. <laughs> so, boner flame. Yeah. So whenever yeah. anything is like, you know, a triple A top or a whatever, yeah. that I call that boner flame because it's immediately makes yeah. me very excited. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me a little uncomfortable that you saying that, and I'm holding it right <laughs> at crotch level. But it's definitely this oh, qualifies as boner flame. I think this is probably more than three A's, but I don't know how that grading system works. Anyway, so then we've got. Um, my other favorite kind of maple, which is bird's eye maple on the fretboard, this one is roasted, toasted, and burnt to a crisp. That's from an old 90s movie, I can't remember which one. Uh, and then on the back we have black limba, so this guitar weighs a metric ton. That's not my jam, I'm not into that. <laughs> see that. Um, yeah, try it, hold it. It's, yeah. It's a it's lot, good. It's, it's a heavy. One. But it sounds really good, so I don't know, it might be worth it. Um, we've got a, a really interesting offset bolt system. Uh, this I've never seen before, um, a, like a diamond bolt, uh, four bolt yeah. kind of a thing. And what I've noticed um, with all of the guitars is the the contours and the, and the shaping that goes on in the back. That's yeah. like something that I know takes a long time. All right, what do you got for wood? Show me your wood. Uh, this is made from trees. <laughs> I really, I, I I'm really bad with the my woods. Yeah. Well, we so, got a quilt maple top I think, for sure. Uh, the, the neck is maybe Wenge. It is! It's Wenge. Uh, ebony. Fretboard. Yes! And I'm not sure what the back is. Roasted, Roasted swamp. swamp Ash. Roasted Swamp Ash. Which is bad ash. <laughs> bad ass, I mean. It's a nice piece of ash. Yeah. <laughs> which I, I dig. I've never... Uh, I don't own any guitars with, you know, fancy woods like this, so... This is a first for me. <laughs> yeah, and it's a it's a big thick maple cap that looks like about a quarter inch. Yeah. On these, um, so twenty four frets, you know, classic super strat, but just a little bit different on all fronts. I gotta have twenty four frets. This is the money note right here. This is how you get paid. So lots of brands make super strats. Everybody pretty much likes a super strat on some level. Like they're pretty. Straightforward looking. So why make one when everybody makes one? It, but I think it's because everybody wants one so they could sell a billion of them. But also because if you want a uh, mayonnaise quality, yeah, which is ridiculous, like ridiculous. Mm -hmm. um, if if you need more evidence of this, you should check out the mayonnaise factory tour that we did and you can see how into it they are. And then you can have a sort of a more traditional shape because all the other stuff they do is like pretty futuristic, modern, like very even even that that legend is like kind of a telly, but it just it's just not. You yeah, know? it is, but it isn't. Yeah, like look at it. It's like uh, it's, it's like, like a telly twenty years from now. <laughs> yeah, it's an, a very aggressive telly that yeah. you could like shred country licks, but also play whatever. You could play metal, uh, future jazz, Ooh. future fusion. That hasn't been heard yet. Because um, we live in the future. We do. Technically, actually, we're living in the past. If somebody's watching this as a video uh, on the internet, yeah, that's right. There's no way that it could possibly be from the future. Anyway, let's not think about that. Thanks, we just got real existential. 
real fast, but everyone loves a super strat. This is one of the finest super strats I've played because it's, it's super comfortable for some, you know, it's beautiful, obviously it's beautiful, but um, there's something about it that's super comfortable. The trem system I really like, it's different. Uh, the frets are like really huge, which I really like on my guitars. You know, just like nice jumbo frets. <laughs> Good for bending and, and stuff like that. Yeah, well, I like big frets because they're better for playing fast, you know yeah. what I mean? Like. Uh, playing quickly and badly is the <laughs> idea. If you have really tall frets, it's almost like, um, like a scallop like guitar scallop, yeah. a little bit. Um, and I like that. These, I mean, they're not, they're not super tall, but they're just sort of yeah. nice, good, big in the middle size, mm -hmm. not, not enormous, but not tiny. A lot of strats have, uh, like kind of older strats have like little tiny frets. Yeah. Like I've... banjo frets. And you're like, oh, okay. Did people used to have smaller hands <laughs> or something? What's the deal? I had a strat that had, I had to get refretted because it, I could not play it. It was unplayable. <laughs> That's so silly. Classic style. But a lot of modern features, locking tuners. Mm, yeah, that's right. I love locking tuners. Every time I talk about how much I love locking tuners, a lot of people are like, hey man, you don't really need locking tuners. You could just, you know, just just be a man and wrap them around well, 50 uh, times. And I'm like, hey, who's got fucking time for that? Well, also, if you've ever done a gig where you've broken a string and you know there's no one to help you, there's no tech around. I've seen guys with locking tuners just while they're on stage, grab a string out of their gig bag, pop this off, boom, 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 boom. It's super fast. In situations like that. Yeah. You know, if you have to wrap, I've, I've also seen people wrap it around on stage. <laughs> and it's There's hilarious. that video of B.B. Uh, King. Yes! But he's also singing, um, plus he's B.B. King. It, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously he was quite the bamf, but I don't think that you probably are, I'm not. I don't need that shit. I don't have a guitar tech. It just Give makes me life easier. Tuners. It makes yeah. life easier. Anything to make our lives easier. Yeah, I mean, and they're yeah. not even that much more expensive than regular tuners, so right. why not? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so, like I'm saying, classic style, modern stuff. I want to do like 15 seconds of metal to, just to see if yeah. it can be done. So, this is the new Blue Guitar Amp One Iridium Edition. It's the metal guy. <laughs> Now, this is not a particularly metal guitar, but I just wanted to see if it could do it. Yeah. It still sounds a bit stringy and uh, and twangy. Um, of course, we're in standard tuning. Right. This is not a You can tune it however machine. you want. You can tune it however you want. Not a, not a super thick neck, not super thin. I tend to get a lot of these in. It's, I feel like I say that phrase a, a lot. Yeah, it's a medium. It's I like a medium say. neck. Yeah. But with that tone, let's see. So even through the same metal amp, we can go from Metallica to whatever blues you mix those for <laughs> yeah. on the same guitar. Yeah, dynamics. Yes. It's like you can go from Stevie Ray Vaughan to Metallica in one guitar. So if like you're, you you know you're a gigging musician, you're in a cover band that plays a range of of uh, styles. Yeah. This this type of guitar would definitely cover it. What's the most famous BB King lick song like that where he sings like? Uh, there's the thrill is gone. Thrill is gone. Thrill is gone away. <laughs> it's perfect. Exactly. BB King to Metallica. Mashup. <laughs> seconds flat. Well, I think I've embarrassed myself enough. <laughs> and uh, these guitars are real sick. It's, you know, the super strat of your dreams. My NS quality. They probably cost a fortune. I have no idea. Um, 
But they're worth it. Not not really a fortune. I'm I'm exaggerating. They're usually between uh like twenty five and up to like four grand, or probably a lot more. But if you, depending on how fancy you go, of course, yeah, probably get one with a lot less fancy stuff on it for not that much. Um, these are premium. Made in Poland. Yeah. By handsome Polish men who I've spent good time with. Yeah, bearded handsome men. Bearded not handsome as handsome men. as this bearded handsome. Well, you know. You know. Um, it's just different stock. I, I can't grow facial. Yeah, well, y you know, um, you've got s skill instead. <laughs> I'd, I'd trade in my beard for your licks any day. All right, well, RJ, thank you for hanging thank out. Thank you, Trey. Everybody, subscribe to RJ, uh, RJ Ronquillo. Um, the, the link is floating somewhere. Thank you to Myness for letting us play these beautiful guitars. Thanks to Henning for having us out to 42 Gear Street. Thanks to all the supporting brands. Um, for example, Hosa Cables, eh? The Peterson Strobe Tuner, the one angle that I was like, <laughs> never go to this angle, it's the only one that works for this shot. Chuck's Power Supplies. Thanks to Two Notes, they supplied Cab M's for all of the rooms, Cab M rules. We're also using a Tone King amp back there that is mic'd up with a Lewitt MTP440 mic. Thanks to Lewitt for providing microphones for the event. Fuck you, Henning, for making me come to Germany for the second time in a year. This goddamn country and their schnitzel. Just kidding. Everybody is How much is schnitzel great. have you had? In this uh, so on this one trip, yeah. three times. Have you had a, a salad at all? I anything? tried. I haven't. They don't really had... have salad. It's uh, I call it mayonnaise soup with uh, iceberg <laughs> lettuce. That's basically. I haven't what had it a is. vegetable in two weeks. Yeah, uh, I need some roughage. <laughs> I'm working on a. Uh, well, let's just say my bowels aren't yeah. what they used to be. How do people in <laughs> Germany even? There's no bathrooms here. They just reabsorb really? everything, it's gross. <laughs> well, this went a bad place. As always, thanks so much for watching. If you haven't already, mash that subscribe button, smack the bell, and drop us a like for more reviews and original content. And I'll see you real soon.